Hello and welcome to Chandu.org on YouTube. In this video, we will look at how to create dynamic and interactive pivot charts using Excel pivot tables. Let's get into the workbook here, which has a data model already set up. While the technique works with any kind of pivot table, we will be using a data model driven pivot table just, show, just so that we have some rich variety of data. So we'll go and insert a pivot table. It's not necessary to insert a pivot table to have dynamic pivot uh, chart. You can directly insert a pivot chart in most modern versions of Excel. So we could do either, but uh, this will give you a little bit of uh, idea of what we are trying to achieve. So we will add a pivot table into uh, that place from our data model. And uh, let's uh, just take a look at, uh, for example, by education and by age grouping, uh, how many calls we are getting. So you might think, you know, why are we doing every time calls? Why can't we do it by amount? So let's just go with amount for that matter, uh, total amount uh, by education and age grouping. Now, this is a lot of data. If you look at this, there are uh, 20 numbers and there are some totals, etc. In the, normally, I'm not a big fan of making a chart that has 20 numbers presented, but let's go ahead and give it a try. We can go to insert and click on the normal chart version. It, this will automatically make a pivot chart. Another option is you can go to pivot table analyze and click on pivot chart. Irrespective of what you do, you will end up in the same place. So we will go and uh, click on one of these kind of a chart. It could be a stacked chart or a uh, or a clustered chart. We will uh, try the clustered chart and this will give you a sense of how many, how much amount is being generated by various education qualifications and by age grouping. Now this, uh, because our age grouping is uh, kind of uh, sorted in alphabetical order, it is a bit wonky up to 25 should be the first one. You do know what to do to adjust that. We can move this around like that and it will remap the chart as well. And uh, you can see that more than 45 age group is our biggest uh, amount maker. Now this is a standard pivot chart and most of you would already know how to make this. But how do you make this dynamic? Well, uh, because it is tied to a pivot table, something happens to the pivot table, this will also change. That's what happened with uh, moving from up to 25 to the front, the chart got changed. So what if the pivot got filtered, for example, uh, if you if you were to have uh, some sort of filter on top of the pivot table, like let's just say uh, we will add a department into report filter and change this to sales department, the numbers will change, hence the chart will also change. So this is uh, pretty much the, the pattern we will follow to make a dynamic chart. To change the chart, we need to change the pivot table. But using report filter or these filters is fairly clumsy. A better option is we could use uh, slicers. So we will remove department. We will add department as a slicer. And now I can use the slicer to look at what is happening to my sales. In fact, this behavior, this relationship between this chart and slicer through that pivot table is all established. So they need not be in the same page also. We can select them. We can cut them. Control X and paste them elsewhere they will still work because you know internally they are talking to the same pivot table this thing works same way whether you insert a pivot table or whether you make a direct pivot chart uh, as long as you have a slicer setup it will work so you could have a sales department and then look at their total amounts let's go ahead and make one more uh, pivot table uh, we could uh, insert a pivot table here uh, this one would be uh, let's uh, just say total calls for example by so we will add call count into values and and customers education here and uh, we will insert a, a pivot chart of the type uh, that one and then we will cut this one as well we will paste it here so we now have two pivot charts but only one of them responds to the, the selection. So to make both of them responsible, we need to actually link this slicer to both items, to pivot table, so both report connections need to be made. To fix that, we will simply right click, go on 
report connections and from here we would need to actually map it this is where having a name for the pivot tables or charts would be useful but uh, because we don't have a name we do know they are in the dynamic charts worksheet so i can just right click on that uh, click on that pivot table 5 as well and now both of these would respond to my my slicer okay not only slicer is uh, useful for doing this you could also use um, timeline which is helpful when you are working with uh, date or time related fields so for example we could go to call date of call right click and add that as a timeline and uh, then i can use this to kind of slice the time we will go into quarterly level because this is just too much data and uh, i can see what happened in q1 q2 q3 again this timeline is only connected to that but uh, same as earlier which is report connections and tick that and now both charts respond to timeline selection as well as table selection so that is how you can create a dynamic chart using uh, excel pivot tables this is a very powerful technique and we will see how this will play when we use it to create a dashboard with pivot tables in the very next video thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you again in the next one Bye bye